back. Uh, with that, the ranking member from Texas, Mr. Green, is recognized mm -hmm. for five minutes. I reserve and ask that you go to the next member that's available for questioning. We're, we're sorry, Mr. Green, we're going to have you. Uh, this is, will be our last. This is our, this is our last. Uh, so it, it is, unless we are uh, willing to do a second round, which I'm happy to do. I know there's more questions. Um, Mr. Chair, I would refer you to um, the committee rules, uh, and I'll quote, the chair shall, so far as practicable, defer to the ranking member with respect to the order of recognition for minority members. I have no additional minority members, and I reserve, and I ask that you go to a member who is prepared to speak on your side. I'm happy to engage in this conversation about our rules. You have, the, you have control of your side of the aisle. Uh, you, if you don't have any more members, you are the last one, so therefore, it's your turn. Uh, I have more members on my side, so and that's the discretion of the chair. Uh, so I'm not doing anything funky with the rules. It's your turn. <laughs> so I, I know you'd like to have the last word, but that's not the that's not how this works. We have more members over on this side. The majority is going to get the last word. So gentlemen can bypass his, his, uh, his ability to have a, a question. I'm happy to go to a second round of questioning because I know I certainly have more questions. So would does the gentleman agree to a second round? Uh, the gentleman would ask that the chair adhere to the rules uh, and in so doing uh, re respect my right to pass. And I appreciate your highly technical terminology of funky, but uh, this, uh, <laughs> this is, uh, in my opinion, something that is appropriate under the rules. The, the, gentleman, uh, the gentleman will understand that I am adhering to the rules, which is you get to determine. You had the ranking member go first. You always nicely defer to your, uh, to your members and always go last on your side of the aisle. If we are ending this hearing, it is the majority's not only right, but because we have enough people over here, as we alternate, the gentleman from Pennsylvania is going to go last. So it is, it is the ranking member's choice as to whether he wants to claim his five-minute time. We have deferred. We have deferred to the ranking member on his side. We have given him the ability to choose to have their full ranking member. Hold on. Please tell me that you recognize how foolish and childish this is. Well, so, I, I recognize, no, sir, excuse me, allow me to respond to that, that it was not necessary for you to use the term foolish and childish. Okay, so the chair not, shall, I, I have been very respectful, hold on just a moment. I've been very respectful of you. Now you will respect me. Respect me if you don't gentleman, respect the rules. Gentleman knows I have full respect well, for Well, then him. foolish and childish is, is not is the way to address actually, a member of Congress. Excuse me, sir. I was actually referring to the staff behind us that was interrupting our proceedings. So, Well, I would that, defend the staff. I, I don't think you refer to the staff as foolish. Uh, actually, I did as I turned well, around you can looking do at it, your staff but and I, our staff. I, I would say to you that that's inappropriate okay. for a member of so Congress. So would the gentleman to the like staff. to proceed or would you like the, to continue the member, about the process? The gentleman, the member, I reserve. Uh, so the gentleman, just to be clear, the ruling of the chair will be that the gentleman is forfeiting his five minutes. The gentleman from Pennsylvania will be recognized and that will be the end of the hearing. And that I, is your choice. I appeal the ruling of the chair. That, that is your choice. I appeal the ruling if of the chair. I haven't done anything yet. I'm giving you your options. Or we can continue on with a second round. I'm happy to then go back. If you would like to get the ranking member or Ms. Garcia or any of your other members here, happy to do that. But either I'm going to recognize you for your five minutes or I'm going to recognize the gentleman from Pennsylvania for five minutes. And when the gentleman from Pennsylvania is done, the hearing is done. So what, Wait, what is your choice? May, may I ask you a question? Would you be so kind as to receive a question as chair? Absolutely. So what your contention is that the gentleman from Pennsylvania will be the, the very last person? 
unless we have unless we have more members on our side or your side show up mm -hmm. I, would you hold for a moment please would you happy to So you do realize this is going to go to a full committee. All right, for the fine folks on C-SPAN that are riveted by what has been going on with the discussion of our committee rules, uh, tradition is that we alternate majority to minority. The majority always starts. The majority always closes. Uh, that, uh, that request has been to be changed. 
Um, I have uh, I had having an understanding with the ranking member now that uh, we will be at his request running through the rest of our committee members, our, the Republican committee members. He will then claim the last five minutes of questioning, at which point I will grant him an extended time for a closing remark, at which point then I will have that same amount of time for my closing remarks to end the hearing. 